Hey, so this week I got a comment from Lizzie Duran who said, I love playing piano, but unfortunately I can't sing. Why Lizzie, why? Her comment really got me thinking, why do we have the dreams that we have? And why do we feel like we can't get to those dreams? So today's content. Also, I'm fresh out of going to BBC Introducing Live, which is a big festival for musicians. So I'll be talking about that a bit as well. Let's go. So BBC Music Introducing Live is a free day networking event that's held in London and people from all around the globe come to this place to talk about music and other creative stuffs. Networking with business cards. So there's lots of workshops and live events and record labels and industry executives and lots of people that scare me. But I've always got lots to learn, so much to learn. So I go every year and this is my second year. One of my favorite workshops was led by Gabrielle Aplin, who's an independent musician herself. And I found it really inspirational hearing from her because she's built her way up through YouTube covers and some of the other things like that, like what I'm doing. So there's hope for me yet. And I even managed to ask her a question, which was a bit daunting because the room was full of about a thousand people. So I was kind of like, uh, hello. Uh, I've got a question for you. Another weird moment in the event was somebody tapping me on the shoulder and being like, yo, I follow you on Instagram. And I was like, damn! And it was great meeting lots of other musicians that I follow on socials and other people I met last year. And new friends too. But above all, the most inspirational thing was the mac and cheese that I had on the last day. It was so tasty. 10 out of 10. Networking done. Now please have my business card. And to segue into some of our other topics, it was interesting to hearing about other people's journeys and their own dreams, particularly from people doing more live gigs and performances, which is one area that I'd say I'm lacking in. But onwards and upwards, I always say. Do I always say that? Oh well. So at the event, a friend asked me, why do I do what I do and why am I making all this music? And I kind of had an outer body experience and an existential crisis. But I guess it took me back to when I was a teenager and it kind of always was a dream for me to be on stage and performing. Because when I was younger, I used to be a very quiet child and I'm very methodical and I like creating stuff and doing things. So songwriting really appeals to me from that perspective. But overall, I just have a real love for music because I really love that moment where you can make a song and it connects people and there's emotions and you're literally taking sound and random noises and making it into feelings and human emotions, which I think is a really cool thing. But often when we have dreams, a lot of them are perpetuated by TV and the media as to this is what you should be aiming for, this is who you should be. Lizzie, you should be the best singer in the world as well as a pianist. And I just feel that's so wrong. I feel like you have to make your own dreams and work towards them, but you have to fall in love with the process, otherwise you're going to be forever disappointed by everything you do. Obviously, it would be ideal if I was a multi-millionaire rock star, but the reality is that might not ever happen. So I'd rather make the process of making songs and actually going to these events and doing things and making stuff that can be the dream. And there's nothing stopping you guys from having dreams which don't have to be the best thing in the world and world class. And so I get particularly upset when parents and people in authority and as I said, like media perpetuates this idea that you should be this amazing person. That should be your dream. And if you don't achieve that, then you're a failure at what you do. No, stop it. And I guess another part of this is don't let your dreams go because once you let your dreams go, what else is there? Does it mean that you'll 100% succeed? No, and I've failed at lots of things. <laughs> I'm such a failure. But don't give up on your dreams, and they won't give up on you. And one nugget of wisdom that Gabrielle Aplin gave me is make a wish list for the year of things you actually want to achieve. Make them realistic and see where you get with it. Because if you don't try, you never know. And always celebrate your successes, because it's very easy to look at the negatives and lose sight of where you've actually got to. So Lizzie, keep practicing your singing and maybe one day you'll be the best singer in the world. Or maybe you'll be terrible, I don't know, but keep trying. So let me know down below a topic or question you'd like me to talk about next week and like, subscribe, <coughs> ring that bell for notifications and I'll catch you next time. Bye.